You are with Brad Collin, Casa Santuse in Puerto Rico. Beautiful and, Puerto Rico. Right? Beautiful Puerto Rico. And we have we got his posse over here. Look at his posse. Okay. This guy from Ecuador, what's your name? Rafael. Rafael? Yes. It's Rafael. With the F. No, no PH. Are you an Indy Turtle fan? Ah, no. Yeah, actually, yeah. You are? That's how I normally people remember. Ah, yeah, okay. But, so, Rafael, the Ninja Turtle. There you go. So, Rafael, so, like, can you tell us a little bit about just your travels, right? Like, what have you learned through the intersection? You've been to a lot of travels. In your travels, have you ever a hybrid or something that was intersectional and that, like, really stood out? Absolutely, yeah. We tend to think that when you meet somebody, whether, you know, it's an uh, American, European, uh, South American, it's specifically from that part of the world. And it's not. Like, if you, you, you don't have to go to, you know, back in their history to kind of learn that they have some mixes uh, from, uh, you know, grandparents, uh, great grandparents, or, you know. Um, so I, I met this guy who uh, is actually half Brazilian and half Japanese. Yes, there is a large Japanese community. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the guy, uh, uh, by my surprise, he was really into rodeo. Rodeo? Okay, bro. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Friends in Brazil, like you can look at his job. Brazil has the best rodeo people ever. Yeah, I'm from Texas now. <laughs> yeah. So they come here, they come to the U.S. Okay. And they, they compete and they win. Oh, wow. So that's something that completely blew my mind. Like like MMA, uh -huh. the Brazilians, it was a time that took over with the jiu-jitsu and all this. Uh -huh. Salute champions. Same happening with rodeo. Oh, it's wow. like a group of uh, uh, Brazilians that are taking over the rodeo and, you know, us as Americans, we thought that we had it, you know, a handle it, but no, apparently there's a lot of Brazilians who love to uh, ride bulls and are really good at it. What were your thoughts when you, like, discovered this? It completely blew my mind. It's, uh, it's something unexpected. It was something that, uh, you know, interest. You left this guy. What did you take away from his story or what did you take away from, like, the experience? That, you know, if, if you come and meet somebody with uh, some kind of a pre uh, notion of who he is or something like that, it doesn't take much to change that. So every time you meet somebody, just be aware that what you see is only uh, 5%. See. Any last words that you want to say when it comes to like just the world? Who is watching this? If you bump into this guy, <laughs> think.